I wish we had plates to break. Yeah. <laughs> to make our own homemade pitas. That's what we do. Okay, now to begin this recipe, it's a, it, what you're doing is you are combining your yeast and water in a separate container. So I've got just my Pyrex measuring uh, glass here and it's two cups of nice warm water with um, a packet of yeast, so two and a quarter teaspoon with a teaspoon of sugar to help activate that dry yeast and about five minutes until it's proofed. That's extremely visually satisfying. It really is. When it proofs, it's like, ah, oh, because you, you ever watched it um, like poof up in a bowl? Oh, yeah. It's so fun. Now for this recipe, we are doing two cups. I've been making this for a while. It's, two, it's half and half white all purpose and whole wheat. I'm using a white whole wheat. It's just, it makes a lighter, uh, dough. Yep. So we are actually going to be putting now with all doughs, you don't want to add too much flour. You want to add that depending on the temperature of your home. A little bit of nut. How much flour? <laughs> how much? So it how much calls flour? for four cups of um, each actually, but we're doing two cups each, and then we're going to add more until it comes together as a dough. So what you're doing here is you're adding the salt and your flour. So we're doing four cups total, half and half white and wheat, and adding how much sugar, salt? That was two teaspoons. She's so not precise. I know, it's bad. So then- um, It's not bad, it works for you. Okay, so now we're just stirring this together. And we're kind of making a little bit of a well in here. And we're gonna be stirring in our olive oil. When one you, third cup. When we do, do the yeast. That comes after this. This is so crazy. I know. Getting it kind of mixed in there. Oh, here comes the yeast. Mm -hmm. Here she come. I kinda wanna get that foam. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and scrape the sides of the pan down, and this is where we're gonna decipher just how much more flour we're gonna need. You never wanna overdo it, you know? Right. There's no turning back. So adding a little bit of flour at a time is what we wanna do. And a cup of the wheat. Cup of the white whole wheat. This looks like it just might work. Oh yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. So it's wicked away from the bowl. It's forming a nice little ball of its own. We're gonna let the mixer kind of do a little bit of the kneading job. And um, next- When do we know it's done? You know, I, I'd say a good couple minutes by hand or even five minutes by mixer, getting it nice, get that gluten development going. And then we're actually going to measure um, and make little balls of how many pitas we're gonna make and we're gonna let them rest. And then we're gonna make them, that's the fun part. Okay, let's do it. All right, kneading the pita dough. Back into the mixer bowl just for ease. Got a nice, beautiful ball. We're actually going to let this rise until doubled, um, about an hour in here then we will punch down while it you know let it rest for about 20 and then we will measure off and weigh so they're equally proportioned into 12 balls i'm so excited next what, what are we doing <laughs> i don't know tazzini sauce oh yeah tazzini sauce so delicious yeah you, we're gonna have to dip some of the warm pita into this sauce first before we do the sauce. it's mandatory it's mandatory i almost want to dip the pita into that honey sauce that goes with our baklava, mm. but fine. Okay, so time to make some tazzini. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so we're making some tazzini sauce. Yeah. We have the cucumber, 
it has been shredded and we did stripe it we striped it by you know that's like taking a side off so that the green kind of shows yeah really pretty beautiful mm -hmm. then we grated it in a grater and then took that and squeezed all the water out of it by putting it into a cheesecloth. Mm -hmm. um, so that did you, you put a little, little bit of salt? A little bit of salt to help it to yeah, kind of to extract get rid of the all the liquid in the water. Now we're just gonna add some goodies. Mm. Can I please? Do let's I have your do permission? It. Well, let's do it. Okay, so let's get ready to make our tzatziki sauce. All right, Greek yogurt, two yes. cups. How fitting. <laughs> Every time so she needs these are always in my way. <laughs> Okay, this was like five oh, five honking cloves <laughs> minced. <laughs> Why? You know, it's your elbow. My my best friend Jen, she, uh, from college, was a lefty, and we'd always sit on the wrong side, and we we're always like knocking elbows. Oh yeah, that's That'll what do I it. That's what I feel like. I did about a tablespoon olive oil. We're okay. gonna add white vinegar. How much? Mm, Good two, question. Two teaspoons. Mm. Pinch of salt. We might need more. We're gonna taste and see. Oh, yowza. I would eat this off Jenny's forearm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get a little bit of black pepper in that. Now, you can use white pepper so it doesn't show, but we I like care. it. I, I like, like it to show. I like the flax, you know? Me too. We're gonna actually test it and see what we think. We might add a little bit of some lemon I to this. I think I like a little lemon. But let's do so before let's and see. after. We may even wanna do a little lemon zest maybe or something. Maybe let's so. See. Oh, you almost need a chunk. Oh, I wow. can hear oh. it crunching. I can hear you crunching. <laughs> we're, we're not gonna to wanna to talk too close. Is it garlicky? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Those garlics though. It's on fire! What do we think about lemon? I want some lemon in it. Yes, so why? What if we did zest? Let's do zest and a little bit of lemon juice. Just a, both. Just a little squeezy. Okay. I think this is kind of pretty in here, actually. Gorgeous. And you let it kind of sit in your fridge before you serve. So that's why we're kind of doing this before we get our lamb patties going. I swear I had half a lemon around here somewhere. You probably did. Here. Are you recording? Oh, buddy. Yeah, we are, darling. Did you need something? Okay, so here, now what's gonna be gorgeous I about- I salt, what do you think? Yeah. What's gorgeous about this as well is after it marries in the fridge for a couple hours, when you go to serve, drizzle it with some beautiful olive oil and it just is sitting up there kind of pooling on the top of it. Well, that was a bite. Mm. Oh, you, the lemon. Oh, oh, oh. Is absolutely necessary. Oh. We nailed it. As Guy Fieri would say, you could put this on a bumper and zip. Or Jenny's forearm. We're gonna wrap this up with some saran wrap, put it in the fridge, let it chill. Time to make our gyro patties. That was really good Vanna White. Thank you. All right, this is four pounds. This is four pounds of ground lamb, and that's because we're splitting it between us, okay? Mm -hmm. So each family would normally have two. For this four pounds, we have used half of a red onion diced, and then we're going to use, did you want to do a little lemon when we squeeze in here? We're gonna do a little bit of lemon because we're spicy and sassy this like that. This lemon is just complimenting the baklava and everything else. And we're also gonna zest to do it, because it just ties it all together, I think. We're gonna do a palm full of oregano because oregano is, it reminds me of white Mike Wazowski, so Greek. I don't know, <laughs> he says that, so it's Greek. Okay, palm full of oregano, which is good because that's about all we had. So we need some Himalayan salt. Oh, that was all the oregano even. This looks like it's desperately needing more oregano. So we're gonna do two palmfuls. Yep, cause we, yeah, cause we're doubling this for us. Here comes my butt, it's a good We're do gonna oregano. do another palmful of oregano. Yep. Cause this is four pounds. If you're just doing two pounds for the family, which is probably what you will be doing. It would just be Actually. one handful. Okay, now we're just gonna put them into patties and we actually have a, a nice foil lined baking sheet. 
and they're going to be kind of like mini patties. I will have to say, pro tip. Um, what pro we, tip. Yeah. My mom used to always say, to test your meat for meatballs, she used to always take a little bit and cook it on a little skillet. I'm actually going to do that right now because yeah. I think it's see, amazing. See if it needs salt. Let's do I'm it. worried about the salt with so much meat. You know what we're missing in here? Granulated garlic. I already know. I mean, what are we, nuts? I'm going to say probably one hand palm full. Don't you? Yeah, this, this is can a lot be, of meat. But it's salty, so I want to be cautious. So that's going to help get that extra boost of flavor. Whenever there's like something missing, it's always it the garlic. Kick. It's always the garlic that gives us the zest it needs. Now we're going to go ahead and okay our patty before we continue. Yeah, I say we do. Okay, we just got our little, little teeny plate full. Got to make sure it's seasoned because this is so much meat. Perfect. Oh, I mean, come on. Why does it taste Greek already? <laughs> Sorry, Nick, little dick just out, did ya? Okay, you guys, little lamb patties. Okay, we're gonna start frying them up. Okay, I just smoked out the house. Yeah. To make these gorgeous <laughs> lamb patties. Lamb gyro patties. They're so flavorful, so delicious. We're gonna be serving this up family style. Mm -hmm. Now we're working on uh, baking up those pitas. Let's go. I'm pitching off just a little bit. You know, um, if I were to guess how many pounds this is, I can't even tell you. <laughs> so I just wanna have a nice little pita size square. I'm taking my French pin, it's nice and light. You want it fairly thin, like an eighth of an inch thick. You know why? Because this baby, is going to fluff up and it's going to um, create that pocket we're looking for in a traditional pita. So um, I'm gonna grab a cookie sheet here. We're gonna put like a couple of them on there, brush them with a little olive oil, a little granulated garlic, and a little bit of some more oregano, and bam, they're going in. Make it extra. Have you seen that at the grocery store? No, not at all. 500 degree oven for like five minutes. That's it, and okay. you're done. Delish. Okay, now it's ready. We're gonna go, I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's done. Oh yes, I see the pillows, it's billowy. It yes. is ready to go. Okay. Let those cool and then let's keep rolling out some more. Okay, so what I'm doing here with the pita is now, what's an important step is that these are allowed to rise in this position, um, in the patty shape or the pita shape for about 30 minutes before you pop these in that hot oven. Before I do, I like to drizzle them with a little olive oil, a little granulated salt, a little oregano, and then into the oven they go. Okay. All right, um, we've got Pita's baking, but we've got pita's done. Yes. We've got everything ready to go. We're going to be sitting down Greek family style. Yeah, we are. Okay, so let's do it, buddy. Let's do it. Let me just show you this cute just pocket. Already peels apart. It's so cute. Makes you a little pocket, mm -hmm. as you can see. Okay. Wow. A, a tomato. Oh goodness. Okay. Oh goodness. Good grief. Yeah. Putting that tomato in there. I'm shoving in the red onion. You see that? Nick, these are all essential. Now, squeeze a lemon. Let's do it. I got a little squirt on you too. It's perfect. Oh, buddy, let's dive in. At the perfect bite, I gotta get it. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> a little dick's done in here. This is too much. What in the world? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. It's gosh. dynamite. Dynamite. Oh my gosh, okay. The lamb patties are so flavorful. Uh -huh. It tastes exactly like a gyro. Mm -hmm. The oregano, mm. 
the onion, the garlic. It's mm, mm -hmm. yeah. the red onion. Gives you that little bit of pop. The tomato makes it soft and luxurious and cools it. And the tzini is so the top. flavorful. I would seriously eat that off of Jesus for and I'm not kidding. It's so good. Is it over the top? But I haven't making these for a while. I'm telling you, this is like... Make this for your family before they just... You have to. And I think family it's style... Easy. This is easy. It really is. Family style is the way to go. Hmm? We're hungry. <laughs> we're just gonna eat the whole thing. I know, we were starving and film it. from the get-go. Okay, so should we try the baklava? Mm -hmm.